And what is up guys, Hinchy Gaming here, back with you for another episode on Making Millions. This is my third episode today, and if you've seen the previous episodes, I would like to thank you for sticking with me through this. So let's get into it guys. The, the best idea I had was alchemy. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know I did a video on the new alchemy parcels that you can get from Imperial City for 500 Telvar stones each. And I did a test on that to see if they was really worth the Telvar and was a solid way you could make money. And we proved that they was more than... They was more... How can I explain this? They was absolutely amazing. We spent 50k Telvar and got a conversion of to 250k's worth of gold of alchemy, alchemy mats. So today I'm going to show you a way that you can then push that even further and instead of selling your alchemy mats on the on the guild stores to other players for a flat profit of what you've already made I'm going to show you the best potions you can make to then go ahead and increase that profit even more so that you can make any even more money even more gold guys who, who you can never have enough gold in this guy in on this game I mean gold is a really 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 important commodity on this game it's very hard to get in substantial quantities and I found the best way for you to be able to go out and get a good big amount of gold is to not actually go and attack one method to get rich but you need you really need a lot of little money making methods combined together to drive forward and make a good amount of money so as you well know I use the enchanting and the buying the enchantments, basically breaking them down and rebuilding them back up to make a lot of profit there. That's one of my passive incomes. And then the second income, if you will have noticed, was the alchemy parcels. Now the conversion ratio to gold for that was absolutely incredible. So then you can even sell the alchemy mats or if you've got the uh, alchemy level, then you want to take those alchemy mats and you want to craft potions. Now there are a few specific potions that you want to be crafting to get the maximum amount of profit and they are weapon power potions, tri-stat potions and spell power potions. There are also immovability potions. You'll also see from the screen that I am using an add-on. The link in, will be in the description below to that add-on. I really recommend using it as it will make your life so much easier in the long run and obviously time is money when you're making gold in this game so anything that will speed up the process of you making a little bit of gold that little bit faster will overall give you a better income and to make the most out of the sales I don't recommend just selling in 200 stacks because there is people unfortunately out there that haven't got the money to buy a full 200 stack so what I recommend doing is listing in like 10% increments. So you want to list 20 potions, then maybe, I don't know, 50 potions, then 100 potions, then 200 potions. You know, expand your market so that you can, you can give your service to the little guy as well as the big guy. And the beauty of this is, guys, just for 10 minutes work in the morning, making a couple of hundred potions... You can simply then go ahead with your day, go do your questing, your achievement hunting, your veteran maelstrom arena, whatever it may be. And this will be producing a passive income just as well as the enchantment glyphs that I've shown you in episode one. If you haven't seen that, link will be in the description below. You can go check that video out as well, which is the best passive way of making income, I think, in this game. So that's it, guys. That's episode three of Making Millions. And the next episode is going to be about station trading, or should I say guild trading. Now, I'm not going to go too far into depth with that now because this episode timing is already cracking on. But yeah, check out that episode, guys. I will get the fourth episode uploaded two to three days from now, depending on what other videos I need to make between now and that time scale. And that's it guys, if you like this video, feel free to drop me a like, leave me a comment down below in the section, I will always respond. 
subscribe for more if you really want to see more of these guys i upload videos every single day covering as many aspects of elder scrolls online as i can and thank you guys and peace out